Hello and welcome to everyone today. My name is Jane Churchill and I'm the organiser of all the children's events for the Stroud Book Festival. It's a wonderful job and I love it. Today we're going to be welcoming Hannah Shaw, who's an author and illustrator of many, many books. Today she's going to be talking about her fabulous Unipiggle series. Unipiggles are a little bit pig and a little bit unicorn, and I think you're going to find out all about Unipiggles today. I think you're also going to be doing some drawing, so get your pencils ready, get comfortable, and sit back and enjoy. Hi there, I'm author and illustrator Hannah Shaw. I'm from Stroud. I wrote and illustrated the Unipiggle series. These are the first two books, and the second two books will be out next year. So this is my newest book, which is Dragon Trouble. As you can see, Unipiggle is not a normal unicorn. Oh no, he's not fluffy and sparkly and pretty. He is a muddy, smelly unicorn pig. And that's why he's so much fun. So if you want to listen, I will gonna read a little bit of the story. And also I'm going to do a draw along so you guys can learn how to draw Unipiggle too. I will now read Unipiggle the Unicorn Pig, Dragon Trouble. This story is set in the magical kingdom of Twinkleland, where everything is absolutely perfect all of the time. Welcome to Twinkleland. This is Princess Peony Peachkin's Primrose Pollyanna Posh, usually known as Princess P. She lives in Twinkleland Palace with her parents, Queen Bee and King Barry. She likes mud, marshmallows, chocolate and having fun. This is Unipiggle. He's Princess P's new royal companion. He's a loud, muddy and proud unicorn pig. He likes mud, marshmallows, chocolate, having fun and getting tickled behind the ears. Princess P was supposed to choose a unicorn as her royal companion, but during the unicorn parade there was a storm and things went a bit wrong. Luckily, Unipiggle saved the princess and the day. Now Princess P and Unipiggle are best of friends and can't wait to go on lots of adventures together. It's a good thing the princess didn't end up with a typical unicorn because they are vain, snooty and have fussy grooms. Dashing Dancer wants sparkly hooves today and cucumber to cool his eyes. I'm now going to skip to chapter 5 where I'll read you a little bit more of the story. Princess P and Unipickle are going on an adventure. They're taking their friend after the pixie and he is going on his ride on mower. Princess P and Unipickle want to find somewhere really, really muddy that they can splash in lots of muddy puddles. They think there's a volcano in Twinkleland that is full of mud. And they're very excited. So they've been to the library to find a map and now they're off and everything is absolutely lovely and perfect until they turned a bend in the road and all of a sudden the landscape changed completely. No longer was everything in perfectly straight lines. Ahead, a rocky outcrop of hills was covered with sprawling forest and huge boulders were fringed by long grasses. A gentle breeze blew the scent of sweeties and forest fruits towards them. They could just hear the distant sounds of tropical birds playing trombones and insects buzzing in ribbon. Finally, said Princess P, it's getting wilder. Unipiggle grunted happily. Princess P got down and walked next to Unipiggle for a while, enjoying the sensation of uneven ground beneath her feet. They passed a scrumptious marshmallow tree and Princess carefully picked a few fluffy ones to share. This was a hopeful place. It felt like anything could happen. Unfortunately, anything did happen, and it happened next. Princess, stammered Arthur, stopping the mower. Just look at that. Princess P looked. Unipiggle looked. Yes, just look at that. What is it? Shall we see? <gasps> There ahead, a monstrous beast was eating a tree. Chapter 6, Dragon Trouble. The princess blinked. Unipiggle burped. Whoops. Is it a dragon? cried Arthur. Princess Pew knew what dragons looked like. She had a book called The Magical Creature Guide and she's seen pictures of them. 
dragons were friendly, although in Twinkleland they didn't leave their caves very often because they were rather too large to visit the towns. The princess was sure this monstrous beast was not a dragon. It doesn't even have wings, she pointed out. It looks more like a dinosaur, but that would be impossible because everyone knows they're extinct. The beastly thing seemed to have heard them and was headed their way. Yikes, yelled Princess P. We should probably hide. They all dived behind a large boulder and watched the immense and noisy creature as it passed by, crushing the vegetation, petrifying the daisies and uprooting conifers to use as toothpicks. But after a few moments, the monstrous beast had trampled off and headed in the direction of Twinkle Land. Roar! I think it's gone, said Princess P, her heart thumping in her chest. Unipickle gave a reassuring grunt. Oh, are you sure? asked Arthur, trembling like jelly. Just then, a shadow fell over them. Oh! Arthur pulled his hat down over his eyes and desperately tried to make himself even smaller than he already was. I'm a dragon, you silly fool! sighed the golden dragon, landing gracefully in front of them. My name is Goldie! The dragon bowed to Princess P and Unipiggle, and Princess P grinned with delight. You are a dragon! Meeting a dragon was one of her ambitions. I'm Princess P, this is Unipiggle, and that's Arthur the Pixie. You didn't happen to see a, a rather large dinosaur pass this way? asked Goldie casually. You mean to say that monstrous beast was really a dinosaur? Whatever next? Pigs might fly, jabbered Arthur. Unipiggle looked at the dragon suspiciously. The dragon gulped. She'd not seen a unicorn pig before, but this one seemed rather shrewd. Unipiggle nudged the princess with his snout. Ah, the princess said, how did you know it was a dinosaur? She asked the dragon. Hmm, well, that is a good question, Goldie furrowed her scraggy brow, and she looked around guiltily and then lowered her voice and said softly, I magicked it. You magicked a dinosaur? Arthur squeaked. Yes, well, obviously I didn't mean to, protested the dragon. I know magic is banned, but there are so many regulations for us dragons to follow in Twinkleland. For example, we are only allowed to use our flames to toast marshmallows, and that's strictly at weekends. And we are forbidden to roar or set fire to cats or barns or eat people or anything like that, really. Not that I want to. <laughs> I mean, I haven't left Dragon Town for 45 and a half moon cycles because I don't like to get in the way. Oh, it's okay, Princess P said soothingly as Goldie hid her head under her wing. But I still don't understand. Please, can you explain how you magic the dinosaur? Well, that's a problem, Goldie cried. I have no idea how I did it. I was just admiring my fossil collection. You see, one moment I was blowing the dust of a large dinosaur bone and the next, zap, boom, a real-life dinosaur appeared. Just like that, Princess P said in awe. Just like that, said Goldie. I'm as shocked as you are. I've never practised any magic before. Unfortunately, the dragon continued, it crashed through my cave door and ran away. There is Goldie polishing her fossil collection there. Hmm. Mummy and Daddy will be mad if the dinosaur go near, goes near the palace, Princess P thought aloud. Mummy hates mess and trouble and anything that breaks the rules. And Daddy doesn't like noise when he's practising the ukulele. Goldie looked horrified. I must try and stop it. Princess P turned to Unipiggle and Arthur. Well, we want an adventure. And it seems we've found one. Unipiggle nodded bravely. He was ready for anything. And there's Princess P saying, come on everyone, we need to think of a plan and fast. Well, I'm not gonna read any more of the story, but I will show you a very funny picture of what sort of happens next with the dinosaur in Twinkleland. It's rather destructive. <laughs> I will tell you a very special secret about Unipiggle. 
you have to lean in really close. Are you ready? Uni Pickle can turn things into chocolate. He has chocolate magic. Imagine that. Would you like to be able to turn anything you liked into chocolate? I would. I would turn everything into chocolate. In fact, I would turn this book into chocolate and eat it right now. Hi everyone, welcome to my draw along. We're gonna need pencil, pen, eraser. You may also need some colouring things. You can either use colouring pencils, crayons, pastels, or I've got some watercolour paints I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to draw a unipiggle, a dragon, and a dinosaur. Um, and I've roughly sketched out um, a little picture underneath just to give me a guide, but I'm gonna show you now how to do it. So first of all, we're gonna start with unipiggle's snout, which is like an oval. And then go on and draw on his head like this. Remember, you can pause the video at any time if you get stuck. Or if you want to just rewind and have a little look at what I've done, there's a triangle here. This ear comes out a bit like this. Okay, and he's got a pointy rainbow horn that he can do his chocolate magic with. Here's his eyes. One, two. Here's his back. If you are getting really stuck drawing Uni Piggle, on my website there are some activities that shows you how to draw Uni Piggle as shapes and then rub out the shapes afterwards. But I'm going to just show you how to draw in freehand now. So here's a first leg and his tummy, and a back leg, like that, and another. And he's sort of walking, so we've got one leg going out underneath him just like that. Here is his curly tail. And on his bottom, he has a crown. What's he looking at up there? Should we find out? Uh -huh. Coming off the page, I have a great big mouth of a dinosaur. Are you gonna make your dinosaurs look angry? Like this, with the eyebrows? Ooh, I don't know if I'd want to meet that dinosaur. Big sharp teeth. Unipiggle's not worried though, he's got his magic. Some nostrils. Okay. Um, oh, we better draw some ground. And I'm gonna draw a little daisy here. A twinkle land daisy. Ooh. The daisy's a bit scared of the dinosaur. Well, maybe she's spotting something else up here. Let's have a look what this is. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a dragon. So I'm gonna start with Goldie's ears, like this. Goldie the dragon's ears, here's her snout. Okay, and then she's got a long back. Okay. And a heart, sort of upside down heart shape for a tail. one leg and in her arms at the front here she is holding a big toasted marshmallow that she's just toasted with her little flames here's her eyes mmm that looks yummy doesn't it and then her wings which sweep down here one a little bit like bat wings I suppose and one on this side She's flying through the sky above Unipiggle. Nostrils. To show she's flying, I'm going to do some lines behind her. Okay, and actually to show what Unipiggle's walking, and little lines behind his legs like that. Show a bit of movement. Okay, that's my sketch. If you want, when you've done your sketch, you can go over it with a black pen. I'm going to show you now how I put my colour on and I'm going to speed that up, otherwise it's going to take all day. But um, if you'd like to use your colours in the same sort of way, you'll need a pink for Unipiggle, you'll need a green for the dinosaur and you need gold, orange and yellows. And um, and uh, if you've got a gold pen, that would be great for Goldie the Dragon. Here goes.
And here we have it, Unipiggle, a dragon and a dinosaur. I'd love to see what you've drawn. You can tweet or Instagram photos to me at Tanishaw Draws and please remember to tag in Stroud Book Festival. If you want to visit my website, there are all sorts of fun activities linked to Unipiggle, including making these delicious flaming marshmallows. Hey everyone, thanks so much for taking part and I can't wait to see all your drawings. Please do share them. Thank you very much to Stroud Book Festival and if you want to go and check out my books, I've signed some in Stroud Bookshop if you want to go and have a look in there. Bye bye everyone. Thank you so much Hannah for an absolutely fabulous session. We all really enjoyed that and I'm sure all the children enjoy drawing their unipiggles. If you'd like to buy the books, they'll be available from your local bookshop and there's also a link on our website where you can buy them too. And thank you very much, Hannah, again for an absolutely lovely event.